he's like, yeah, hey, all this stuff about calling Peter Satan and saying he's wrong, get rid of that. In fact, Luke takes the failure of the disciples out throughout his gospel. You know, the shortest verse in Mark, and it's very chilling, is when Jesus is arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. And Mark says one verse short, and they all forsook him and fled. Talking about the apostles, Luke just takes that out. So back to the confession of Peter, uh, Luke just takes it out. But what does Matthew do? He adds a blessing of Peter. He keeps the dispute about get behind me, Satan, in the rebuke. But then he adds the blessing of Peter. You are Peter and you've made a right confession and I'm going to build the church on this. So do you see how he is very troubled by the way Mark stands as it is? 